One, two, three, do it. Good morning guys, we are out fishing at Montana Creek. It's a local creek that Eric and I have never fished and there's pinks running right now, chum, and even silver. So we're gonna see what we can get today and we're gonna start fishing. All right, we got our first fish hooked up. I believe it's a pink salmon. Won't know until we get it up here, but hoping it's a female because we want some eggs. Yeah, it's a fighter, huh? Oh, you hooked him. All right, so that was a male pink salmon. I actually foul hooked him. I hooked him on the back, which if you catch a fish like that, here, you need to release it. So we put that guy back in the water and we're gonna keep fishing. Okay, we have a pink hen on. I think we're gonna keep her because they have really good eggs, if we can get her to shore. So these are the pinks. They have that really pretty band on them. That's kind of a small one, but we're gonna keep it. And she bit that lure. We find the pinks are pretty aggressive towards the flies. Eric's using a Vibrax to see if that works for something else. like the pinks. Uh, we smoke them and can them, but we have done all our canning for our fish so far, so we give this to the dogs and they really enjoy it as well. So there's a lot of fish in here. I mean, not like a lot, a lot, but I I'm pretty sure I snagged a male in the back, even though we are jigging. Um, I saw him kind of come up and they're really, they really fight you when you have them in their hump. Okay, that's nice. Did you see him? He's going all the way across the river now. <laughs> Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Come here. You putting him back in? He's got a big hump. Come on. Woo. Excitable little man. I think it looks like a male. No, that's a girl. Oh, it's a mini hump male. Didn't take long. Oh, that was a pink salmon and that was a male. Put that guy back, see if we can catch some more. All right, this is a female pink salmon, so we're gonna keep this one. We got two fish so far, and I think we're gonna start kind of just working our way up the creek and just keep fishing. Beautiful fish. She. she. 
Yeah. We don't see them like that that often. It's silvery. Awesome. Okay guys, we're having a good time out here fishing. Um, I think we've got, we caught maybe four males and then we're keeping the two females we got right there. But we're gonna head out of here and we're gonna head back towards our place and fish our local creek and see if we can um, finish catching our limit for today. Round two guys, we made it to our local stream. We got four more fish to catch to get our limit. She's a fighter. Fish on. It's a really good sized pink right there. Got some power. Oh, there you go. Easy. I had to snap my lure on a piece of on a tree or something in the river. Uh, we're just using the flies. I wanted to switch over to a spoon, but we cannot use treble hooks here. We're gonna see if we have anything back at the truck when we go back there. Um, I kind of want to see if we can catch anything different. We're starting to see some chums. Finally. So we just bopped this down. Jig it. They really seem to like that. I don't know if they're trying to eat it. They almost seem to be just more like annoyed by it. So that seems to be the technique that works really well. So I lost another lure. We're gonna head up river, see if we can rig something else up, get some different fish. Yeah, we've pretty much just been catching pink salmon and we're hoping to get either a chum or a silver. So uh, I think we got four fish total right now and we can have six between the two of us, um, at least six in total. And we're gonna go up to this hole, it's a little deeper and see if we can catch something else. All right, that's a good way to end the day for me. That is my three fish. Uh, and Ariel can still catch one more. So she's going for a chum. Seeing a couple out there and she almost had one bite. So gonna keep fishing. Okay, so we finally caught a chum. Um, this is not expected. They're not as desirable of a fish, but I really like them and we have plans for it. Um, and that's a big fish. It was a little bit of a struggle. Super exciting. So we caught what we needed and we're gonna head home. Okay, we made it back home. We have our five pink salmon and one chum salmon. They are all hens, all of the pinks, and I'm not sure about the chum. It looks like it's a girl, but the teeth indicate that it may be a boy. So we'll see when we um, get that one processed. So we're setting aside the eggs. We're gonna be brining those and smoking them. That's like a salmon strip right there. Huh. So Eric and I are saving a few of the fillets of the pinks for us. 
The rest is actually going to go to the dogs because we've already done all our canning for the year and we have already made some fish stock which turned out really awesome and so these carcasses will either go to the chickens or to the compost pile. Nice eggs on this one. These chums have some seriously thick skin. Jeez, look at that. That is insane. Compared to a pink salmon. I stepped in and helped Ariel fillet that chum. There's definitely a lot of bones in that thing, but we're gonna take these inside. So what we're actually doing with this fish today, the fillets, we are gonna be making candied salmon. We're gonna smoke that in the smoker tomorrow after we brine it. And with these salmon eggs, we're gonna be smoking these and making smoked salmon roe. So with these, we don't have to do anything with them yet. These are just gonna go in the freezer until tomorrow when the smoker's going. Our fillets, all I'm going to do with them now is I'm going to cut some strips just like this and I'm going to leave the skin on there. I'm just kind of opening them up to get some more of our brine in there and also tomorrow when we're smoking them, I'm going to be basting these. Alright, so that's what I'm going for. Got the slits all in there and I'm going to finish the rest of these real quick. So we're gonna be doing the two chum fillets and then I got three of the pink salmon we're also gonna do on there. All right, and all we're doing for the brine is I have two quarts of water here and then we're gonna do one cup of sugar and one cup of salt. Okay, this is gonna go in the fridge overnight. We're probably gonna do it for a little over 12 hours and then we'll see you tomorrow when we have the smoker going. So we got the smoker fired up, we're working on our fish. We took it out of the brine and it's been smoking for about an hour and I'm gonna put some spruce tip syrup that Ariel made on there and I got a little honey mixed in there also and I'm just gonna be basting this like every half an hour or so and this is probably gonna smoke for about six hours. Our salmon has been smoking for probably about four hours now and I'm gonna get these eggs ready and we're gonna be smoking salmon eggs today and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay them out on this tray. I'm gonna put a bunch of salt on them. Half an hour, I'm gonna wipe all the salt off, rinse it off with cold water, and then I'm gonna put them on the smoker. All right, those are gonna sit for a while. I'm gonna open up the smoker and we're gonna baste them again. So I went ahead and rinsed the salt off these, cleaned them up, patted them dry. Uh, it's time to throw these on the smoker and I just checked the fish and the small fillets are done. So we're gonna pull those off first. All right guys, it's been a long day of smoking. Everything is finally done. The eggs went for about an hour and the salmon, the thicker pieces, went for about six and a half to seven hours. We're gonna pull everything off and we're gonna do a taste test. We got some sourdough here. We're gonna do a little bit of kefir cheese on it. All right, this one's getting the candied pink salmon. This one's getting some of the smoked salmon eggs. This is from the pink salmon also. All right, I'm gonna start off with the uh, smoked eggs.
All right, those are those are kind of just okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try the candied salmon. Okay, that candied salmon, that's awesome. Really good, nice and salty, really sweet. I'm gonna have the camera woman come in here. She's gonna try some and we're also gonna try the uh, chum salmon that we smoked. So Ariel's gonna try the eggs. I'm gonna make uh, one of these pieces of bread with that chum salmon on there, see how that tastes. All right, taste test complete. <laughs> and I think it's pretty pretty straightforward here. Yep. Neither of us really cares for the eggs. Um, <laughs> nope. I don't know what it is. We liked them raw and we did like them with caviar. Yeah. Um, they have a texture on the outside and they stick to your teeth worse mm -hmm. than taffy. And They're it's bad. <laughs> it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant at all. Um, I would probably not make those again. I'm yeah. not sure if we did anything wrong. And no. technically speaking, they're cooked a little bit, you know, because we smoked them. So they kind of cook this, the membrane of the skin a little bit and they're really sticky. They would need to be frozen, right? To, yeah. to save them. They're not actually preserved or anything like that. But the other salmon, the candied salmon is quite good. We don't typically do that with salmon. We don't like to, you know, taint the meat, so to speak. So we usually just make it as is, but um, it was, it was pretty good candied. And we did notice a difference between the chum and the pink salmon. Yep. The, the pink salmon was actually really good. I, I really liked it. I'd probably make a little batch of that once a year, probably. The chum salmon was definitely fishy tasting. Neither salmon are really desirable for yeah. most Alaskans, but um, we do like the pink salmon. And the pink salmon we caught at Montana Creek, I think they were a little bit fresher. Their meat was a little more red mm -hmm. or, or pink, and the chum was very spawned. So yeah. I don't know if that has something to do with the flavor. You know, clearly we live, these fish have to travel quite a ways until they yeah. get to us. Would you make either of them again? I would make the pink salmon again, the candy pink salmon. That's pretty good. Really easy to make. I mean, if we're smoking meat, you might as well just rub some syrup on it and let it go a little longer. Um, but other than that, yeah, the eggs and the chum salmon, probably won't do that again. For the most part, we have wrapped up our salmon fishing for the year. Um, we're just doing it for fun now at this point, and we may go silver fishing a little bit later. I know that's the species of salmon we have yet to, to catch, yep. um, and it's we're pretty much going into moose season, so this was, this was fun to try. All right, so with that being said, we're probably just going to finish this bread and the pink salmon, and I think the eggs and the chum will go to the dogs and the chickens. We'll see you next time. She actually doesn't like you. I paid 20 bucks. I feed for you it. every morning, Peppy. I paid you 20 bucks. You're my friend. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't taste like fish at all. I really fun. Mm. Keep running around in a puddle. Oh, I detect what you're talking about now.